The way I see it, the kit needs to break down into three categories, first aid, tools, and fire starting. Biggest challenge is it's all got to fit inside this little tin. if they were singles, but they're doubles. No luck on the flashlight front. Beggars can't be choosers here. Oh, dare to dream. Green linen. Can work this into our kit. Compass is becoming a real problem. It's not a Fox 40. This one would fit, but the quality of this thing is so dubious. Tinkers. Tied leaders. Waxed stranded button thread is heavier. I definitely feel like I'm operating at a disadvantage this not being a proper Walmart. It's just kind of a small Walmart, not like what you're probably used to. Walmart's so hated in this community that the people come out with stakes and torches every time they talk about expanding or making it bigger. Uh, now I'm going to try something today that I've never done before, that my dad turned me on to this. Uh, but he was telling me sometime back about a guy that was taking straws and putting different things in there. You could put a miniature fishing kit, matches, medicine, and then pinching and melting the ends and have a waterproof container. So we're going to, I tried that and it, it's quite simple. We'll do one here together. I'm not going to make you go through all of them. All right, so let's, let's look at our first aid kit. Now we're going to have to be very sparing. Um, and this is what I came up with. We're going to put two Advil in. We're gonna to go to Tylenol. Yeah, I had all the, the this first aid stuff and I had um, individual things and I found this whole kit that had everything that I needed and it was like a dollar. One alcohol wipe, but it's gonna be two band-aids. That's basically it. Also Neosporin. Uh, so we're gonna do some Neosporin. Now we can't fit this in here, but how about our straw trick, right? A little bit to crimp it. And that's what we're gonna we're gonna call good call that good. Neosporin is kind of a I don't know antibacterial antibiotic. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't do anything, but it makes you feel better when you got an owie on your finger and your mom puts that on, doesn't it? Okay, we just filled that up. So I don't know if this is the exact right way. Oh, I, look at that. You know, if it's oil or anything petroleum related, yeah, I'm gonna spill it. And now this is gonna be. Interesting that this is kind of flammable. It is petroleum. So you just take it just, just really quickly melt that in Like that and there you have a little neosporin pack Right there ready to go time to eat some crow here. I know I know One q-tip I know this is not a survival knife, but tell me what's gonna fit in there, really. But man, this ticked off so many boxes. This is the little Victorinox. Is this the cadet? This has, this is a great little knife. I have one of these. Uh, so you, what you get is you get your tweezers right there. So you can, if you have slivers of different things, you've got a toothpick in there. You've got uh, really good scissors. If you need to uh, abrade some flesh or cut different things, then you have a small blade. The reason why I chose, uh, or a file as well, a file and a blade, but it's not gonna be the type of file where you can file metal. metal. It's gonna be more like a fingernail file. This is made by Ozark Trail, which is a byword of quality, uh, if you didn't know. But I don't care about this knife. Obviously, it's not gonna fit in there, but it has some key components that I was not able to find at Walmart, and that is, i.e., ferro rod, look at that, a very small one, and a flashlight. I, there was not a small flashlight in all of, of Walmart. Look at that. That's exactly what I. <laughs> that's exactly what I wanted. That flashlight. Look at that. I, 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 how could you do any better than that for what we need it to do? That is perfect. You, you want to know what else I came up with? I thought I was was really being clever here. Where did that go? Oh, here it is. The only thing I could find it. I found this at the last moment. Look at that little thing. It's all. It's all aluminum, it's even good quality. That's nice, that makes me happy. Was this, <laughs> I was really getting desperate and I was thinking, don't they make some LED lights that light up keys? Sure enough, I found one that's pretty good. It even has 
a place where you can replace the battery. So what you do is you have this ground, I didn't have time to do it to, for your front door, and then you push and you've got a, a red light right there. Oh, I also found this. This is a, it was a dollar, it was like a dollar, uh, a survival tool. Um, these are phony. I mean, I, I, they're kind of they're, they're kind of cool, but it is nice to have something that could open a can and give you a, a you know, pretty strong scraper or raise, or blade of some sort. Now I've got. Uh, I went to the. I was looking for some upholstery needles, and you know, not the phony ones, but the big, proper, heavy, heavy duty ones. Now, and I found these singers here, and they're they're big. Now I like these guys here because they're they're. Look at how strong that is. That's a pretty. That's a pretty serious needle right there with a big hook on it. Um, there's, a, there's a straight one. So we'll drop the straight one in there. And I wouldn't mind having one of these, especially uh, the curved ones. I have, if you've ever had to do sutures, I had to sew up our poor dog. She got caught up in a fence. Found this, uh, this is the wax thread that's, uh, it is, uh, what's it made out of? Linen, it was linen. It was nice to have something that's not, you know, too awfully toxic. Uh, if you did have to, if you did have to um, use it for sutures. We wanna make sure we have enough that we can at least tie it up to an old cane pole or something, right? A whistle uh, is very important. Your voice won't carry very far. So this was the only thing that I could find and I was hoping that I could, yes, good. We are gonna make our own Walmart fire starter here really quickly. So you need a heat source, uh, empty can. This is a Perrier French, so it shouldn't put up much of a fight here. And of course it doesn't. Uh, we're gonna boil uh, some petroleum oil with uh, some cotton balls. Take your petroleum jelly, make sure it's petroleum, and we're gonna put some, we don't need very much, it's gonna be just a very basic kit here, but put some in your melting pot. While that jelly's melting, let's put our fire kit together. Fortunately, they had the UCO British lifeboat matches or the stormproof matches, which I was very thrilled about. These are excellent. And let's put three matches in there. We'll put three matches in there. We have the fire steel. Oh, bonus, check this out. So inside of this little deal that was connected to our, our little whistle, uh, it was a nice roll of paper. It actually rolls out to kind of like a mini scroll. It's a pretty good size. Uh, we got a pencil. My granddad always, even in his hunting pack, always carried a pencil and paper because we were always leaving notes. You know, we didn't have radio and that type, type of communication. So if you came to something or you'd leave it some, something and leave a note, and he always carries a tiny, tiny pencil. You know, he was in the army, so he was all about saving weight. His pencil, pencils were little, like littler than this. So here's what he, what he would do is he would just take a, he would sharpen it down so small that you could barely hold on to it. There you go. So there's our little pencil. I'm gonna leave the eraser on there because it looks, it looks cool. Over in the craft section, they had this for 98 cents. Five, six, seven. Petroleum jelly. There we go, that's all melted. So we're gonna drop our uh, cotton balls in there. Looks like it's all soaked in, we can let that set aside, let it cool, and we'll come back to that. All right, should we take a look at the fishing? All right, so this kind of comes into fishing. Um, a safety pin. I know I have never caught a fish on a safety pin. I have heard that you can. Um, I wouldn't want to have to be that guy that did it. It's one of those things that sounds like a nice idea but doesn't really work. But I have, if you are, I have been in places where the fish were biting uh, to an extent that you, they would take a bear, bear hook. So I'm like, okay, well, let's try it. So I got some very small eagle claw. Now these are egg hooks. These would be hooks for um, putting like a salmon egg on. Uh, but we don't have a salmon egg. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of these. They have their leaders on them and they're pre-sharpened. I've even got bait. Okay, we're gonna do some bait here. And what works better for all around than a marshmallow, especially when they have glitter on them. We'll take a Q-tip and we'll push it down. So we've got monofilament there, enough for a leader. We can drop in um, some sinkers. One, two, three, four, five, six, we'll just go with seven. Seven always keeps God happy. Uh, let's see, and then this is gonna be an all-in-one fishing bait, the whole deal. I, my plan was just to stuff these marshmallows in there. You know, the, these things last forever. And the, and the worse, the more rotten they get, the more the fish like them. There you go, pocket fishing kit. Sinkers, leaders, and bait. 
all in a tiny drinking straw. Now this is gonna be basically almost pure petroleum soaked uh, cotton. See right there, it wants to burn. But right there, there we go, in red, let that seal up. Is a pretty good amount of fire starter right there. You can just break that and just squeeze that out with your matches. Uh, Gorilla brand, of course, is probably as good as you're gonna get. Man, that Vaseline is everywhere. This stuff, I'll tell you what, guys, this stuff is so tough. I used it on some wood, and when I went to hold some paper down, we were doing some remodeling, and the, it pulled the wood grains up. It would be nice to have a metal cutting blade. So I found these, I don't, the quality is gonna be dubious, but I found these uh, jigsaw blades. And I thought, well, we could take the bimetal one. I mean, they're very small. Went with four wraps there. That's significantly flatter, and that should fit. Let's lay it all out. What a great Christmas gift this would be, huh? Maybe, because, uh, I mean, it was a little expensive buying all the things, but once you buy them, you can make so many kits out of them. I mean, lots of kits. Um, so we've got duct tape. We've got um, some wire. We have um, our medical kit with a label that's kind of falling off. There's two Tylenol, two Advil in there. We have our seven wraps of a really good uh, wax linen um, uh, cordage that we can use for um, all sorts of things. Uh, we have here, was this our, this our fire starter? So this is our petroleum uh, tip, oh, whatever you call it, uh, cotton balls. Here is actually a ferro rod, a tiny one, a flashlight with a magnet right there. I mean, not a great flashlight, but it is a flashlight with replaceable batteries. What do we have in here? I forgot what we put in there. Oh, Neosporin. So that was our meds. We have a Neosporin right there. We have our, um, fire, our fishing kit, full fishing kit with hooks, sinkers, and liters mar and marshmallows. Got that in there. Um, this is kind of a nice little deal. This was uh, on the more expensive side. This was a, uh, $11, which, but I think it's totally worth it. Well, $11 for the Victorinox knife. We have uh, Granddad's little modified pencil right there. We have uh, uh, basically a hacksaw blade, small. We've got some paper, a scroll that we can write on. We have uh, a whistle. We have um, a very nice, good uh, cleansing wipe, alcohol cleansing pad. We have a, a safety pin for, we could actually add, we could add to that, guys. I think we can spare the room for one more safety pin. And we'll just put two big ones. No, oh, that's a small, that's a medium one. There. We'll do take two safety pins. We have the striker for our, our um, waterproof matches. Three waterproof matches. Right there. And we have our medical kit, which is our two band-aids. Right there, two band-aids. And we have our survival tool, kind of. Uh, a big heavy needle uh, for stitching things up uh, using our thread or our wire. If, if it got to that, you could sew a backpack for things that break. Um, and then this little needle right here uh, that could be used for sewing as well as um, sutures right there. So that, um, that could be used. Wouldn't be ideal, uh, but uh, I mean, it's better than dying, right? So I think that that's a pretty good kit. I think Walmart, um, came through for us. Um, I would have loved to have a small button compass in here, but I could make a compass um, easily uh, with the needle, the string, and the magnet. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I invite you to subscribe if you haven't. There's a lot of new folks here, and um, if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that. Uh, thank you for uh, all your support. Don't forget to click the thumbs up if you enjoy these videos, and uh, thanks for the challenge idea. You know who you were. That was a fun project to do, but I think this would be a good kit to put together. Um, I have, I bought three Altoid cases. I'm going to throw one in the glove box of each car, um, and a great gift idea, too. You could do it yourself and be set up, and even a business idea, right? How much would that be worth to a guy? You know, I'd say, um, I'd say you make, I, there's a, I think there's a little margin in there. But, uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. May God bless you. Keep us in your prayers. And we'll, may God bless you and your families. Keep us in your prayers. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Power's out. It just so happens. I have a flashlight. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video.